Hey, hello everyone. I'm the Jemma Stang, and today we're going to solve this trihackney machine. The machine name is Valley. And what they're saying over here is, uh, can you find your way into the valley? Uh, of course, yes. That's the reason we are here. And difficulty is easy, but it's not that easy. I mean, uh, there will be a many twists and turns which will drive you crazy. So uh, let's start with this uh, box. It's a 10, 10, 1, 2, 3. Dot 45. So we'll quickly start with the nmap sudo nmap and first we'll uh, start with this open ports uh, with all 65,535 ports. So uh, it is showing that 80 port is open. So we'll quickly copy this thing IP address and just say HTTP and IP address so I'm able to see something this one application one static application which has only two links I guess view gallery there is no upload functionality nothing just some images if we click over here return home uh, there is one more thing one more page is the pricing nothing is there, just a static page so uh, will do one thing will uh, start nikto and the ip address or the url and uh, derby and just the url so uh, we'll return to this uh, application we'll check the view source is there anything inside this view source style css index then chairs and what else okay we'll check one by one no nothing we'll just close it allow valley and this just a title is there apart from this js art we have already opened this thing okay the request URL was not found and uh, the uh, web server information is there and we'll return to this uh, uh, Nikto part and the Derby part actually Derby will take uh, more time so we have a saved output I'll quickly show you the saved output so this is a saved output of Derby and uh, I'm able to see first um, this link that is a gallery will quickly uh, you know place this thing over here it's a gallery and uh, this one HTML page that we have seen already this one then apart from this uh, there is second thing is pricing we have also seen this thing pricing and I'm going to see something uh, what they're saying over here please stop leaving uh, notes randomly on the website so uh, <clears throat> might be there is some uh, notes on this uh, website which will be helpful for us so next what they're saying over here the static we'll directly copy this thing uh, not copy just type it over here and delete it so uh, nothing is over here just the uh, web application information uh, web server information I, I meant to say and what else okay now I am able to see something some uh, this numbers are there so first number is 00, zero. and now I am able to see something uh, so what they are saying Dave notes from uh, Valley Dave so what they was they were saying over here is don't leave any notes and we got the notes so we are on the right track and add varying photo example uh, okay redo the editing work of number four remove this thing and then check siem alerts so we got something over here 
so we'll just quickly copy this thing and paste it over here to check what kind of web application or page is this so I'm able to see something uh, login page so definitely we'll go with the admin admin uh, no then uh, admin and uh, password no we'll go with the SQL injection or one is equal to one we'll copy this thing and paste it the same thing no we'll comment it out maybe so it's not working so we'll uh, check the view source what is the view source okay okay login style shape again this same thing is there so we uh, i mean no need to open the uh, this thing once again okay we got something else and these two js uh, javascripts are new one so we'll quickly check uh, the dev js and uh, i'm able to see something the copy and we'll paste it in the mouse pad for the further use so it will be easy for us to you know to okay so now what now we'll log in with this siem dev and uh, california password so we'll quickly close the unused tab and uh, the same dev and the password is California copy and paste it now what they're saying dev notes uh, for FTP server okay stop reusing the credentials that means uh, there is some uh, FTP server stop reusing the credential that means the same credential might be used uh, check for any vulnerabilities okay we will do that then stay up to date uh, for on the patching and change the FTP port. That means FTP is not running on the 21, maybe on the different port. So we'll look for this FTP port now and we'll go to the end map. Okay, so we have this port. So we'll get some information about this port. For that, we'll use end map again for this specific port. SSSV, yes, correct. For the port number 37370. Okay, so we got the result. Uh, and 37370 is actually the FTP port. So, what we'll do, we'll uh, log in into this uh, port. We'll copy this thing. Nikto is not giving any, any information. We'll shut this down and uh, log in into the FTP. FTP and the IP address and definitely FTP is not running on the 21 so we have to mention the port that is 37370 and uh, name okay we have a credential sim dev so just paste it and yes we have a password also that is California and okay now we are on the FTP server so we'll say ls minus la for all the uh, you know files inside the directory and I'm able to see some same logs of FTP server then HTTP server and HTTP2 okay so we'll do one thing we'll copy this thing on our local machine so for that we'll use mask gate that is M gate and we'll just say star so all the files will be stored on your local machine so yes and okay again it will ask you yes so all the uh, sim files are stored on our local machine and we'll exit from here and clear it out 
and I'm able to see a Wireshark logo over here so we'll quickly start the Wireshark to read this file and uh, okay we'll just drag and drop it will be easy for us okay and we'll say http dot request uh, dot yes method because uh, mostly login happens on the http request method post so we'll say post post and press enter no then second one is there any logs no third one okay okay we got something and yes index.html that means user is logged in over here and uh, i am able to see something validate and photo one two three four so we'll copy these things okay we'll copy the whole value and the second one is password is photo at one two three so we'll copy the value once again okay great now it is good now we are on the right track we'll close this thing and uh, we'll back to the uh, and map thing so there is a 20 to open so as they are saying that the applications are uh, I mean uh, the credentials are uh, they are using the uh, they are re reusing the credentials so there will be chances that uh, SSH will be open by this credentials so we'll try this thing with the 22 port so SSH and the name is validate and at our uh, IP address we'll close this thing now and uh, yes and we have a password also yes it's photo at one two three four and you're good to go so we got the first breakthrough where we'll get the user flag yes we got the user flag and we have a root uh, sorry read permission to read this file so nothing is there in this folder so we'll come out of this folder and uh, now we'll check what's there inside the folder okay i'm able to see one user siem dev then value user value authenticator this is not a user this is a file basically and this one we own this user uh we'll check what is this actually it is actually the executable files we'll do one thing we'll see what kind of value authenticator is this we'll run this file and what is your username valley and password they are asking is it no so uh, i have no idea about this file we'll quickly copy this file on our local machine so that will be easy for us to you know check uh, what kind of file it is so for that we'll start the python server on this machine python 3 module http dot server 8000 port there's something wrong with this okay maybe just one hyphen okay now it's started ip of this box 10101234 we'll quickly use wget http and uh, 8000 port definitely and the what is that the file name copy selection paste it so 
now we got the file on our machine so we'll read this file the strings so it's pretty big file but at the end of this file I am able to see something UPX so we will quickly check what is this UPX we'll ask Google oh okay Google uh, what is UPX and they are saying UPX is a free and open source executable packer supporting a number of file formats from different operating systems so it's basically a file packer you can say uh, mostly uh, commonly known as a zip file so that kind of thing is this so we'll unpack this file so we'll say how to unpack UPX yes and okay I'm able to see something use the option and the UPX we will do one thing we will use the same option D and the file name that is no not UPX the file name is okay just a second value authentication authenticator and value authenticator now we're good to go so we have unpacked this file now uh, i'm able to see something unpacked one file now we'll read the same thing and still it's big and but it is in the readable format and uh, now now what we have to search for the password or sensitive information so we'll do one thing we'll uh, say strings value authenticator and we'll uh, quickly uh, copy this uh, copy all the output into the uh, you know uh, text format so we'll uh, name this file valley.txt and just say yes so you will see this file in the uh, local machine and we'll open this file with the uh, notepad or uh, any any notepad we are using the mouse pad over here just say ctrl f and password because that's what we are looking for and we got something we got two hashes over here just above the password thing so we'll go here and we'll say crack station crack station we are just looking for the crack station and we got the crack station we'll decrypt this files We'll decrypt this hashes and we got something so there is one more user that is a valley and we'll note down this thing now this time we got valley and uh, what is the password is liberty123 so okay now we got all three uh, user id and password so now we are good to go to escalate our privileges to root so first we'll escalate our privileges to valley so over here just say valley and password we have that is liberty one two three just say paste it so now we are we have uh, escalated our privileges to the valley and okay so now we'll uh, check the sudo list of the sudo permissions and yes we have a valley password 
and okay sorry user value may not run sudo on valley so this time we uh, so this time we'll not get any uh, hint from this box so in this case we'll use uh, uh, length base so and so uh, uh, yes we have a length base on, on our uh, local machine so we'll just say python okay python3 module http dot server and we'll host on the ad only it will be easy so we we'll go here and we'll say temp and uh, wget and our local ip machine is 10 955.241 we are hosting on 80 and stop sh link start sh okay so we got the Linpis will quickly change the permission as such. Now we are good to go. We'll start the start as such. So it is completed. Uh, let me check what is uh, interesting in this link piece. Uh, we'll start with the uh, so we'll analyze this uh, interesting file section uh, what they're seeing over here is uh, files with inter interesting permission and SUID uh, so nothing is interesting I guess in this SUID uh, bit permission then what about SGID no so inside the cron job you can say this cron hourly and uh, weekly monthly and inside this i am able to see some uh, juicy information basically the script is running as a root permission photo encrypt dot py with a python 3 and with a root permission so we'll check this thing first what is this okay we'll go to this folder and we'll check uh, the permission who own this thing so photo encrypt dot py is owned by root but uh, we have the execution permission but not the uh, edit permission so we'll just check what kind of script is it is copy and paste so uh, the first line is saying it's obviously the python 3 you will call and uh, they're saying import base 64 so base 64 it's not uh, inbuilt uh, module so maybe they are uh, importing from somewhere i mean somewhere from the box so we have to search for this uh, B64 thing. So to search, we'll say locate B64. And uh, yes, we got the script over here. And now we'll see who owns the script. Now, oh, okay. say grip command base 64 and the script is owned by valley admin that is our account valley so we have a permission to you know uh, read write and execute so we'll quickly change the script nano base 64 dot ty and yes we have a permission to change this thing so inside this script we'll put our reverse shell 
So just go to Google and say Rebus Shell Python and we got the first link of GitHub and uh, okay Python this shell is looking good so we'll quickly copy this thing and uh, paste it on our mouse pad okay we don't need this python c because we are running inside the python script only so just remove this thing and definitely we're going to put our uh, local uh, host ip address that is 10.955.241 and uh, we'll uh, receive this uh, connection on the 7777 so just copy this thing okay it's not copied properly copy and where is that shell okay and paste it now just say yes and you just have to save this thing and start okay we'll start the listener on port number 7777 and we'll wait to execute that cron job so once that uh, cron job executes uh, we'll get the reverse connection okay so we got the connection OMI root id is 0 so uh, we have successfully uh, compromised this box uh, with these three accounts and finally to the root so it was pretty easy but with some uh, twists so thank you so much for watching and have a nice day